I think it was Aristotle that said that uh, if you don't deal with politics, politics will deal with you. It's a little bit the same way with the climate change. If you don't deal with the climate change, the climate change will come and deal with you. I think today's workshop on the sustainable finance package put forward by the EU with the participation of two uh, technical experts was an excellent opportunity to bring these topics to the Latvian finance community and the corporates. I think the questions and the discussion testified that, you know, the people in Latvia realize that you know this is here to come and this is not going to go away just the same way as climate change there's going to be a lot of adaptation necessary at the governance level uh, by a lot of the corporate players in this country in order to make their systems resilient and adaptive to climate change so this is a very important discussion which uh, will have to be continued and today's event was a good uh, point in the series of events on sustainable finance spearheaded by the European Commission Sveiki. My name is Marie Baumgerts. I'm a member of the Technical Expert Group. We have been in Riga today uh, at Finance Latvia, uh, where we have gone through some of the activities taking place in Brussels in the work of the Technical Expert Group. For example, how climate change can be integrated in ways of doing business. And we have looked at impact of economic activities and how they relate to climate change. This, in fact, is partly why some of the kids are protesting and demonstrating out every Fridays because they want to stay action and we do and there is a lot of material uh, to find out how you can engage and how you can make this practically available for the whole market. Uh, I'm Andreas, I'm a professor at University College Dublin in the Republic of Ireland and I'm very thrilled here to be at Finance Latvia today from the European Union's technical expert group on sustainable finance. Three points are important. The same way that the Irish market can use sustainable finance to leapfrog larger marketplaces like London, the Riga marketplace has actually exactly the same challenge. And opportunity. So how do you use that leapfrogging opportunity? Number one, you actually research the green taxonomy of the European Union and its development and you convince your companies to report better by activity and so green activities separate from grey activities, separate from brown activities and then also you build your data systems in a way that they cover the activities and split a company into N activities. Then you are much further ahead than many of the other European marketplaces. Number two, you engage with your asset managers, your institutional investors, you look at what they would like to invest in, in terms of green indices, indices that support a European transition or Paris alignment and thereby you support a new concept and build a bit of a market, Baltic marketplace. And number three, as a center in the Baltics, you engage with Europe, you engage on the education, you engage on the dialogue, and for instance, via the new Hanseatic League, so the Baltics, the Scandinavians, uh, the Netherlands, and the Irish in the European Union, build knowledge and build a strong sustainable finance foundation. It's your opportunity, it's your generation, it's your time. Mm -hmm.